What's up guys? Welcome back to Lick Branch Farms. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that happened this week. We had two back-to-back -back nights that it got down to not quite freezing, but it got down really hard frost weather. And it actually annihilated a planting that I had. And it's not going to be the one you expected. And I'm going to show it to you when you come back. Welcome back guys. Out here in this high tunnel getting things cleaned out. And uh, we had two markets today, this Saturday, March the 16th. And this is the first Saturday that we've had two markets. Betsy went to Moore County, Southern Pines, and I went to Rayford. So we went to two different markets. And that's gonna happen two times a month. So um, we're trying to get our head wrapped around how we're gonna make that work. We're still moving cool season crops and we're easing into warm season stuff and um and some cool season i mean i know that probably doesn't make sense but it's a cool season slash warm season moving into warm season so um yeah and that's what i'm gonna talk about in the high tunnel today but first i'm gonna show you that plant i was talking about um so a couple nights this week it got down into the upper 30s one night and into the mid 30s the next night and i had a and you guys have seen it before but i have some plants outside that are waiting to go in the ground you know that i keep out here cabbages broccoli things of that nature things that can take a frost this lettuce was out here this bilco was out here and don't mind this this is just for lack of fertilizer this broccoli was out here which you can see now it got bit pretty hard too but some of those plants will come back from that a lot not all of them not the smaller ones but the bigger ones will come back from that but these guys here that i'm fixing to show you is a planting of cabbage and it was as big as that broccoli if not some of them bigger and it the frost completely murdered it now i looked at it and the low got down to 34 degrees and cabbage you know this cabbage has been out here for a long time and it has seen several frosts but for some reason and maybe it was the amount of moisture that was in there or maybe it was the amount of frost i don't know but i want you to take a look at this All of that is the Katarina cabbage that we had started four weeks ago, five weeks ago. The one that I told you only got about a pound and a half, two pounds, a personal size cabbage. That's it. Now, I've got cabbage that is at that size, if not smaller, in the garden, in the ground, that is perfectly fine. Nothing, I mean, it didn't even phase it. Now, I had, this was cauliflower, which it was really small, and that was my fault. I forgot it was out here, and it got it too, which this is the rest of it. But this is some a planting of Ruby Ball Improved Red Cabbage. And this is a planting of, yet small, Blue Vantage. And you can see it kind of bit that kale just a little bit, but that kale come back from it. So yeah, I lost um, one, two, three, four, five. I lost 500 cabbage starts and I lost 250 cauliflower starts. And 150 red cabbage starts just from frost now normally what i would do and you've seen me do it in the past i would take a landscape fabric or a piece of it and i would stretch it the whole length of this and i'd lay it on top of it but when i come down here that morning um it was early i had places to be that morning but it was up real early it was like 37 degrees at 4 30 so i came down and uh walked around looked at everything and everything looked fine well little did i know two hours later it had dropped to 34 before the sun come up you know that's the coldest part of the night just before the sun come up it hit 34 and that's what happened completely my fault completely avoidable but it's just that time of year to where you get things started you get it in trays you get it moved out and you're waiting on it to go outside for some reason you know you've got it outside hardening off or you're trying to get it um just accustomed to 
you know the the acclimated to the weather and boom all you got to do is forget one time now this is what i'm gonna show you now these plants here this is pharaoh cabbage and this is thunderhead cabbage and you can see it's almost the same size as what was in those trays and it's completely fine nothing nothing's wrong with it and that has a lot to do with the variety so um, pay a real close attention to your spring plantings whenever you pick your varieties and you know do your research and make sure you're picking a variety that can take a pretty good frost when it's still young and you don't have to worry about this part of it but like i said i don't know that I, that could have been avoided other than if i'd have left the tops on it yeah it would have been fine but i wouldn't have been here to take the tops off of it when it hit 70 and 80 degrees either so i still would have run the risk of killing it because i would have burned it up all right, so we got a lot of stuff going on around here. We're getting into the beginning of market season. And what that means is that we have um, basically agreed to attend certain markets and we are, uh, we have been approved to attend, you know, the, the markets that we normally attend, our approvals have come through. So the markets that we're going to attend this year on Saturdays is more counties um, for the whole month and Rayford every other Saturday. And we're going to pick up on a Wednesday market, more than likely, we're doing application and all for that. And uh, the Thursday market, we're still going to be doing that. So that's four markets we're going to be doing in a month. Well, in a week, I'm sorry. So we got to get enough vegetables in the ground, get them ready and moving to be able to attend four different markets in a week. We did that for a short time last year and we wasn't able to keep up with it. So we dropped a few of them just to make sure that we had enough for the other two that really is what was paying our bills. But, you know, we'll get into that more whenever we start planting our warm season crops and stuff outside. Right now we want to get, we want, we're trying to transition from last year's cold season crops, which got us through the first part of this year, into this year's cold season crops slash warm season crops that's going to push us through the spring and into the summer. All right, so the high tunnel work we got slated for today and tomorrow, we're, it's probably going to take two days, but we are getting beds ready for another planting of tomatoes which will be a determinate variety called primo red now these guys here you can see have already got blooms on them so i got to get moving i got to get them in the ground a lot of times when a plant starts blooming like this um, if you try to transplant it into the ground it will get a severe case of transplant shock and it could prolong the harvest off of that that tomato plant so yeah, I was real shocked and you know, after I looked at it, I looked at the BHM 589s and if you guys look real close, you will see the blooms that right here that just have not opened yet. And it's not on every one of them, but it is, it is on a majority of them. And, and tomorrow, I promise you, there will be blooms open in here on some of these plants. But anyway, we're gonna get this row ready for these tomatoes. We're gonna get this row ready for a planting of cucumbers. And we're gonna get that row ready for planting a mountain magic cherry tomatoes so yeah like i said that's a lot of work and i don't think it's going to happen in one day but we got all of the swiss chard harvested out of here we took it all to market today and we sold just about every bit of it um, we brought some home and we're probably going to eat it in a salad tonight but i got to finish moving these plants out first and get this mat up and then i'm gonna bring the wheelbarrow in here and go to town go ahead and get all these weeds all these old plants up um, broad for all three of these beds and then i've got to get some uh, chicken litter in the morning and we're going to grind that put it in these beds get them all amended get all that tilled in and then we're going to start remulching all three of these beds all right guys so making a little bit of progress in here so we got everything out all the plants all the weed mats all the heat tapes everything's out all the hoops that we're not using and even the uh rack in the back that i had to harden plants off everything is out here except for the weeds now that's what i'm gonna spend probably the rest of the day doing is going through here and hand pulling all of these weeds all of these old plants and you don't want to just till this stuff in because if it's already went to seed then all it's going to do is make another problem down the road so go ahead and just spend the time and pull them by hand get them out of here that way you don't have to worry about doing it two or three weeks from now all right guys so that is it we are done these rows are cleaned out there's still a few weeds here and there i'm gonna go down through here with the stirrup hoe here in a little bit but yeah that's a wheelbarrow full of weeds and old root stumps and all that stuff so I'm gonna go down through here with a stirrup hoe, knock a few on them. You see these little weeds like this here? Get all those guys up. And then I'm gonna come back and broad fork each one of these beds. And that won't take too long. But we will pick this video back up in the morning where we will put down our amendments. And then we'll go through and we'll start putting mulch on these beds and we will get these guys ready to plant. Now it may be a day or so before we plant these guys. Like I said, we do have a real cold morning coming 
here in about three days it's going to get down into the low 30s and i really don't want to plant anything right now knowing that that's coming but it won't be long after that we'll be putting some more tomatoes and some cucumbers in this high tunnel so we'll pick this back up in the morning good morning guys welcome back it is the very next morning and yesterday afternoon we were able to get everything out of here and i did get two rows brought for it i got this one and this one done you can see how it's cracked up we got these rows here brought for it they are ready to be laid off so we can start mulching these beds now i've got a little bit of chicken litter left in the bucket out there i'm gonna take and sprinkle that down before we get started and uh that is going to be the base for our mulch and we will be utilizing that as a pre-plant fertilizer the plants won't be able to reach it just yet but as they get a little bigger their root system will tap into that and that will give them that extra nitrogen boost that we need so what we need to do next is that we need to get our strings in here and we need to lay off this row now we know we got 20 inch walkways in here and you can see my screw i don't know if you can see them or not these screws here and that screw there makes a 30 inch bed and i'll get my strings and put my guides out that way we don't put mulch where we don't need it and we don't put litter where we don't need it and so on and so forth all right guys so we got our strings pulled we got our 30 inch bed laid off this is going to be the boundaries for our mulch and our litter we got a 20 inch walkway in between the two and i had originally said that we were going to put cucumbers in the middle row but i have since changed my mind simply because once they get so tall they're going to kind of block the ventilation from the fan so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the cucumbers here and then we're going to put our other row of primo red tomatoes here in this row that way because they're only going to get about i don't know four foot tall maybe um and then that way we'll still have plenty of air movement up top Right, guys so that's the first row done we got it mulched in raked out ready to go we got these two rows left to do and we're going to work on that throughout the week we have a couple days before we can plant this anyway because of that cold weather coming in so, so don't miss next week's video where we will be planting our primo red tomatoes in this high tunnel and we will be planting cucumbers and if you missed the video where we started our cucumber seeds for this high tunnel go back and check this video out up here and if you found anything interesting or anything entertaining or you just want to know more about our farm, click this subscribe button over here in this corner. And as always, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Thanks for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.